Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be showing you a brand new shiny hunting method in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Now before we get into this method, I do just want to say it isn't the best one out there. It doesn't give you the greatest odds, but it is better than your normal soft resets or just random encounters. So the odds for this method are 2 in 4096, so it gives you an extra shiny roll on every single Pokemon. So if you're excited for the video, drop a like down below, leave a comment, have you found any shiny Pokemon yet in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl? Subscribe if you're brand new for daily Pokemon content, let's get into the method. So, starting things off, as I've just said, the method isn't the greatest, the odds aren't the best, but they are better than random encounters. So for whatever reason, the shiny charm does not affect this method or any methods apart from the Masuda method in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. We don't know why, but Ilka have decided to make shiny hunting a lot harder in this game, just as they were in Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, the original game. So yeah, the shiny charm does not affect any method but the Masuda method. So I guess it's good because it makes shiny Pokemon a lot more rarer. But of course, if you're trying to get every single shiny, then yeah, it's not the greatest thing. So with this method, you need to choose what Pokemon you want to go for before you set everything up. Now, once you beat the game, you get access to a lot more Pokemon in the hideaways. Like the starter Pokemon, for example, you get the Gen 1 starters, Gen 2 starters, Gen 3, Gen 4. All of those Pokemon become available in the Grand Underground's hideaways. Um, for this video, I'm just going to be going for a flying type Pokemon because I already have everything set up for that. So, let's get into the method. So, here I am in my secret base, and as you can see, it is full of these gorgeous statues, which is what they're called, and they're all flying type Pokemon. You've got the likes of Murkrow, Honchkrow, Salamence, you've got some Drifloons over there, a Crobat, Yanmega, a few Togekiss. All of these Pokemon are flying types. And what that does is it increases the odds of that type of Pokemon spawning. Now, to get these shiny statues uh, is pretty simple, but it is quite time consuming. And I just made a video yesterday going over how to do that. I'll link it in the description down below. I won't go over like an in-depth guide in this video. Just go watch that one because it fully goes into how to get these shiny statues in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. I'm going to carry on with this video as let's just say you know how to get these shiny statues. So these statues are very, very useful um, for, like I said, getting the type of Pokemon that you want to find. Um, it makes that Pokemon appear a lot more frequently in the different hideaways. So like I say, I've got a bunch of flying type statues up, so it will make flying type Pokemon pop up very, very frequently in the different hideaways. You'll know how much of a boost you're getting with this little mini orb thing here. So if I click this and I go onto statue effect, it says sharply raises the appearance of flying type Pokemon. Uh, now with a few statues of that type, it will say like slightly increases. And then with a few more statues, it will say like increases. And then with the max um, like boost, it will say sharply raises the appearance of uh, the flying type Pokemon. So that's what you want because that will give you the biggest boost of that type of Pokemon appearing. And let's say you are going for a flying type. Um, that is the most common Pokemon now in the different hideaways. Obviously, it's not going to be common in like a, a fire type hideaway because they just don't have a very sp a high spawn rate there. But if you're going into a hideaway where they do usually spawn it will be mostly those flying type pokemon so there are actually two types of statues we have the gorgeous statue here and we have the pretty statue so let me go onto my statue list so the gorgeous ones are like these green ones that have like the little emerald bottom there um, and then the pretty ones are the little gray ones here so the gorgeous ones are much better because they will give you more of a boost um, of that Pokemon appearing than the pretty statues. They're rarer, but that's because they give you better odds. Um, so if you can, you want to fill your base with all gorgeous statues because you can have 18 statues in there. Um, pretty statues are fine, but it's much better to have gorgeous statues. And this is exactly what will happen. So I've got all my statues there, and now I'm going to go into a hideaway where Hoot Hoot spawns. But because I have all those statues up, Hoot Hoot will spawn a lot more frequently uh, than any other Pokemon in that hideaway. Uh, I've actually made my secret base right next to the Hoot Hoot because it just makes life a lot easier. You can change your secret base location, so if you want to put your secret base right next to a hideaway that you're hunting at, it makes life a lot more easier. So we've got a flying type there, which is Wingle, a few more Wingles, a few more Hoot Hoots. As you can see, a lot of flying type Pokemon popping up. In fact, only flying type Pokemon popping up in this hideaway, um, and that is because I have so many gorgeous statues um, popping up. So, 
Unfortunately, these statues do not affect the shiny odds. There was quite a bit of misinformation going around on whether these statues did anything, uh, but we now have access to like all the data mined information, and yeah, it does not affect it, unfortunately. It doesn't give you any extra rolls. The gorgeous statues just make that type of Pokemon appear a lot more frequently. As well as that, if you have higher evolution gorgeous statues, so if you have like an Infernic statue rather than a Chimchar statue, it's also better. So if you can completely fill your base with like final evolution Pokemon, then it completely helps your, your odds of finding that type of Pokemon. Um, so that's basically all the information on the statues. Now let's go over the extra rolls. So to actually enable this method, you need to find Diglett. We did pass one earlier, but these Diglets kind of pop up um, throughout the underground um, in different locations, but they are also static as well. So if you do find a decent little Diglett spot, um, then it'll always pop up there. For whatever reason, I cannot find one right now. Hopefully one does pop up soon. It would be a little bit awkward. There we go. So that's a Diglett there. So as you can see on the left, it goes up to one out of 40. So Diglett equals one and then Dugtrio equals three. And then what you want to do is get that all the way up to the max of 40. And that is what gives you um, the extra shiny odds and stuff. So there are a couple of tactics you can do. Like I say, you can keep going in and out of hideaways um, to reset that Diglett spawn. You could also, if you wanted to, make your sec uh, secret base right outside of a Diglett spawn. Like there's one that just spawned here. So if I made my secret base here, I could just keep going in my secret base and out of it. And then that Diglett would just most likely keep spawning. It's not definite to spawn every time, but it obviously will just keep spawning in that spot when it does. So I can just keep going in and out and it will just make that Diglett constantly spawn, uh, which makes life a lot easier because you don't have to go around and try and find them. And of course, Dig uh, Doug trio could also spawn there as well so that is basically what you need to do you need to get out of 40 however though it's very time consuming and as you can see i've only got one out of 40 so the best thing to do is go online so what you want to do is when you're actually opening up the underground you want to go onto internet because that will allow you to find other people in like a lobby or a server or whatever in the underground now again you can do this all on your own it's just a lot more time consuming it's a lot better if you are doing it online and that is because Every time one person finds a Diglett, it all adds up together. So instead of just you finding it, you've got every single person in that underground lobby all finding Diglets together, which makes it much faster to get that boost. So I'm on 0 out of 40 right now. It's just gone up to 12 out of 40. And as you can see, there's loads of little like blue dots on the underground map. And that is all the people in this lobby. It's now just gone up to 13. So as you can see, I've not got a Diglett yet, but I'm still getting the boosts. And that's what you kind of need because it just makes this such a faster method um, now one thing to note is that we do have a discord in the description down below and we do have an underground section where you can go uh, you can talk to people you can create groups and stuff and if you're all trying to get diglets at the same time uh, at the same time it's going to make this a much faster process um, so make sure to join the discord like i say it's in the description down below and go to the underground section and if you can find people there which, which i'm sure you will because the discord is quite big um it will definitely help you get that diglet total much faster so i'm going to get to the 40 diglets and then show you what to do after that so as you can see it says something good may happen in the grand underground we just hit 40 out of 40. so what this means is that you now have the extra shiny roll in any underground hideaway every pokemon now has double the chance of being a shiny the only bad thing about this is it lasts for four minutes. So that's why it's just not the greatest method at all. Because you have to do all of that. You have to get to 40 Diglets. And that is what enables the four minute timer. Which gives you the extra shiny rolls. But it means that every single Pokemon that you run into now. Has a 2 in 4096 chance of being a shiny. So again this is why it's super useful to have a full team. That's constantly going for Diglets. To keep enabling that shiny chance. Because you will get the Diglet total very very easily much faster if you have everybody going for it of course the shiny charm does not affect this method so you just have your odds of 2000 uh, two in 4096 it's really unfortunate i wish the statues affected the odds more but they just don't um and that's basically it that is the method after that it's all about getting lucky so you just have to constantly go for those encounters once you hit the 40 out of 40 and you have the four minutes one thing to note is that if you know that the four minutes is about to end, like if you're trying to time yourself or something, um, you can enter a hideaway and then even if the whistle blows and the four minutes is over, every Pokemon in that hideaway will still have the two in 4096 chance. Of course, when you leave, it, they would all then drop to one in 4096 again. And that is the shiny method in Brilliant Diamond and Shiny Pearl. Again, shiny hunting is difficult in this game. Uh, they've made it 
like that on purpose just to make shiny Pokemon more rare. What I'm going to do now is show you what happens when you do find a shiny because I got very, very lucky and I actually found a shiny Murkrow in 87 encounters doing this method, uh, which is on your screen right now. So as you can see, I've got the 40 out of 40 in the top left. I run into the Murkrow and lo and behold, it is a shiny Pokemon. So again, I got really lucky with this. I got it in 87 encounters. Uh, we still don't know everything about these games. There might be more data mines in the future that shows that the statues do help you. But as of right now, they do not. They just make that Pokemon uh, type appear much more frequently in the Grand Underground. But that is the new shiny hunting method in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to drop a like. Uh, leave a comment as well if you found any shiny Pokemon yet doing this method. Or if you just got a really lucky and got a random encounter, let me know. Subscribe if you're brand new. That's everything from me though. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And until next time, peace.